to say welcome back to Starting Point. Uh, we are getting this morning a very first look at this 12-minute video that is likely really now to become this key piece of evidence in a rape case involving high schoolers. That's right. Two high school football players in Ohio charged for allegedly assaulting a 16-year-old girl. And the whole thing really played out on social media. CNN National Correspondent Susan Candiotti has been covering this case. Susan. All right, John, you know, the charges are horrific. A 16-year-old girl allegedly raped by two high school football players during end-of-the-summer parties in the small eastern Ohio town of Steubenville. There are reports the girl was drunk and possibly unconscious. And now, two special prosecutors, appointed by Ohio's Attorney General Mike DeWine, are just over a month away from trying at least two teenagers on rape charges. But what makes this case stand out even more is talk about the alleged attack last August has been playing itself out through social media. Even Ohio's chief law enforcement officer says this case might never have come together a decade ago. That's because police in part found out about the alleged rape by piecing together outrageous tweets, a cell phone photo that claims to show the girl at the center of the alleged attack being carried seemingly limp by her arms and legs, and at least one online video that shows young people callously laughing about it. Hey, who tells your daughter? But it isn't. Well, if that was my daughter, I wouldn't care. I'd just let her be dead. I was in here, so. I'm listening to myself, fine. <laughs> continues for about 12 minutes. He goes on to make offensive one-line comments about rape and talks about the girl as if she was dead, which she is not. Uh, the charges here are horrendous. That's right. And, and you know, for now, this is what we know about them. Two 16-year-old boys are charged with rape. One of the two is also charged with illegal use of a minor in nude-oriented material. Now, the Attorney General's office says they will be tried by a juvenile court judge without a jury in open court next month. They've been publicly identified by authorities. However, CNN is not yet revealing their names, and because CNN's policy is not to release the name of alleged rape victims, we are also not reporting the name of the girl. So right now, we have two high school football players mm -hmm. who have been charged. i got to say, the, the, the tweets, the pictures that have gone around on social media is shocking. More than two people there. What do we know about other people who may be involved? Well, it's possible. You know, the Attorney General tells me the investigation is not over. Authorities are still conducting interviews. He also says he's well aware of the online video and a photo and postings. Some were online months ago, then were taken down, and some of them are now back online again. So a lot of people are looking at this. Thank you very much, Susan Kenny. Uh, obviously, this case has received national attention because evidence of the attack first surfaced on social media, that's social media, Twitter, that's Facebook, what everywhere. This case so so different than other, you know, allegations of sexual sexual assault in the past. And I want to bring in Alexandra Goddard. She she has a blog and she's been posting on this developing story. Also, want to bring in Mark uh, Radaza. He he is her attorney. So so to both of you, good morning. And Alexandra, let me just begin with you. How and why? Did you get involved in this case in Steubenville, Ohio? Um, I used to live in Steubenville, so I keep track of the news there. And when I first came across the article, um, I just I felt like because it was involving football players and there is a culture there that football is very important, that there was probably a little more to this story than what the local media was reporting, so I started doing my own research. So you went digging on social media. Without naming names, Alexandria, tell us, tell us what you found. Um, I found, I, you know, went through the Twitter accounts, and I found, you know, very disturbing messages, uh, basically laying out a timeline of what happened that evening, and um, found the cache of the um, YouTube video. Um, just found all of the social media which told the story of what happened that night. With the video, and this is the first time that you know so many people are seeing this 12-minute video, and you saw, from what I understand, a screen grab, not the actual video, but, but now that we're learning more about that today, how does that help hurt your case? How did the video the help the investigation of the video. case? How does that help your case, just, just in general, your case here, your investigation? Um, well, it 
proves that there there was a 12 minute video. We had, you know, I found the um, the Google cache from uh, YouTube, and you know, some of these supporters were like, you know, it doesn't exist, and it that video surfacing now proves that, you know, it did exist, and some of the commentary that was going on um, by the person in it. Um, but you know, here, 